This is Carrie, and this is a tutorial about the assignment locating and uploading a Academic Search Complete article. And this is an important assignment to really follow the step by step. You may even want to just have this video on in the background as you move through. It shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. If, as long as you've done the tutorial before, this should look pretty familiar to you. I'm going to start by clicking on the EBSCOhost web link, and I have this page right here. This is the EBSCOhost web interface. Now I'm going to select Academic Search Complete, Master File, and OmniFile. This gives me greater power searching, and it's part of the assignment. Next, I've already submitted Submit, and now I need to type in my topic. I'm going to limit using Boolean operators and or not and quotation marks. Quotation marks are uh, so essential for searching those phrases, especially as we're moving into concepts with um, multiple words, including sea level rise, which is a three level, three letter word, or excuse me, three part concept. So there's three um, words within. Next, we're going to come into our um, interface. I'm recommending that we do an advanced search. What advanced searching does, it applies the Boolean operators ahead of time so we don't have to think about it. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and type in, oops, I'm going to use my quotation marks, climate change. So there are some suggestions, which are not bad suggestions. There's also this long string, this long phrase, um, climate change, greenhouse uh, effect, climate changes, or weather. Those are all really helpful. But for now, I'm going to stick with my phrase, climate change. Over on the left-hand side, I'm going to select full text. And then I'm going to limit to journals pulls out all the videos and periodicals and just selects journals. If you want to just do um, magazines, you're welcome to do that too. Periodicals, um, trade magazines, uh, news, <clears throat> they're all options for you. The point of this exercise is that we're going to download the abstract um, and the PDF. So if this is something that looks interesting to me. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It's a periodical. And let's take a look. So this article, here's our abstract. And this is what I want to send to us. This is what I want you to download. I also have the PDF over here on the left-hand side. And I open the article by clicking on PDF. So some of the first steps that I need to do to complete this assignment, um, I could right over here on the tools side, I can come and say save. And this is a rather complicated step. And this isn't the way I think we should go. The easiest way to do it is to email this article to yourself. Now again, I made sure that I have the PDF full, full text. Oftentimes there are articles that have the HTML and that's all right too. So for example, uh, this particular article has the HTML and PDF full text. The HTML is just mach machine reading, excuse me, machine readable text. And so it's been extracted, but you miss all the photos and tables and data that is embedded in a PDF full text. All right. So to complete the assignment, we've already decided that this is going to be too complicated here. So let's try email. Now um, I'm going to take a closer look. Here's my email, uh, my school address. I really do recommend that you use your school address. It makes it more likely that you will get this article. Oftentimes, um, Databases won't send things unless it has that identifying proxy IP address, which is your Merced College email. 
All right, I'm gonna say climate change. So when I look in my inbox, I can recognize where that's coming from. Um, I'm gonna deselect HTML full text. I just don't really need all that right now. And then this is the detailed citation and abstract. Yes, I want both of those things. All right, I'm ready. So I've sent it off into cyberspace. And right now it's hurtling at the speed of light into my Merced College email. But I do want to mention a couple of the things while we wait for that to populate. Um, there are lots of ways to continue to drill down, including adding or expanding. So I can come up here to or and type in that global warming. Oh, there it is. And maybe I'm also interested in aerosols. So I would use those uh, Boolean operators to expand. I'm getting both climate change and global warming, but I'm applying it to the scope of aerosols. So when we are, say, doing banned books, or other items we could have typed in banned books and censorship or libraries and we would have changed our connectors but here we have articles that are just specific to aerosols and climate change all right looks good it looks like it has arrived so here we have the embedded PDF, and I can click on this, and here's the PDF. I want to save this to my desktop, because what I'm going to do is email, or sorry, I'm going to submit this in the assignment. Okay, so LRNR, um, academic, Search complete. I'm going to make sure that I can find this. So I'm going to go library and then I'm going to say I'm creating a new folder. And I've saved it to that folder. All right, so now let's upload it to our canvas shell. Okay, so now we're looking at our, um, our assignment and we're ready to submit. So um, I, only sub I only downloaded our PDF, so I still need to do the abstract. But here I have um, my documents. I'm gonna go to library. I'm going to go to assignments and there's my, um, my document. I'm going to add another file. Okay, so what we need to do is go back to our email here. And this is the abstract. This is all the text that we need. Um, we don't need all this full text right down here. I'm just going to start from here on up. And I'm going to copy this. All right, so you know you can usually do that um, with the command key. I'm going to come to copy. So I've copied everything that I've highlighted, and then I'm going to go into a Word document and paste it in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Here it is in assignments and assignment climate change. I'm going, to I'm going to title this. Okay, so back to the assignment. I'm going to go to add another file. Oops, no I'm not. I'm going to go to choose file. And there it is, Word document. So I've got the PDF of the, of the chosen article. And then I've got the Word document of the copy and pasted abstract. All right, and then I'm going to go submit 
assignment. And that's it.